I can't be here too much long because God's been good to me and I got somewhere to go. Yes. You got to understand, I got you got to get that I got somewhere to go mentality. Yes. Stop standing there looking like, well, maybe right. God just ain't got nothing. No, God has more for you to do. Yes. You got to get to the mentality of understanding that I got somewhere to go. All right. Paul said, our light affliction. Come on, sir. He said, our light affliction. Light affliction. He must have been comparing our troubles with the suffering of Jesus. Uh -huh. Because sometimes I feel like my afflictions are so heavy that I can't bear what it is that I'm dealing with. Uh -huh. I, I can't bear the weight of my afflictions. Then he said, when, he, then he said, uh, which is but for a moment. Yeah. Sometimes you got to hear people talk about midnight. It's not morning, uh, uh, and, and, and uh, it, it's not morning, and it's not night. It's midnight. Uh -huh. It's not morning, mm -hmm. and it's not night. Yeah. Midnight hour is critical mm -hmm. because that's when it can go either way. Yeah, yeah. Y'all not listening. Yeah, yeah. Right. Midnight is a, clear, a critical point uh -huh. because it can go bad uh -huh. or it can go good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It can get bad, it can get good, or it can get bad. Uh, Paul and Silas, uh -huh. with backs beating and humiliated, thrown into the midst of a filthy, disgusting, dark place. My, my. At midnight, they prayed and sang unto God. And in their undesirable place, they shook it. In their place of undesirable location, they didn't want to be there. It wasn't the Hilton. Mm -hmm. So because it wasn't the Hilton, they didn't want to be there. They was ready to go. But what they do, they stayed in an undesirable place. And they did something that most folk would never do. Go ahead. Most folk would lose their mind in a dark, dusty dungeon. Right. 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 But they begin to praise God yeah. in a dark, dusty dungeon. Come on, mm. What do you mean, Pastor? That means it doesn't matter how dark it may look. Uh -huh. If you understand that praise is your weapon yeah. to get out of some yeah. stuff, Go ahead. you'll understand that you'll begin to start shaking things that right. was meant to be stale. Right. Come on. Right. Yes, God. Right. How do you yes. shake a concrete dungeon. Go ahead. Mm. Them things are made to be unmovable. Right. unmovable. unmovable. You're talking about concrete. Right. And you want to tell me that concrete is shaking because somebody opened their mouth? Mm -hmm. yes. Come on, come on. Come on. Right. The Bible said that they began the same praises mm -hmm. and praise God in the midst of being shackled, yeah. being beaten, uh -huh. being humiliated. Come on. They praise God in the midst of their pain. They yeah. praise God in the midst of what they were going through. And it said at midnight they praised and sang praises unto God. And God shook the jailhouse off of its foundation. Come on. And opened every door and set the prisoners free. What you mean, Pastor? Sometimes you got to come from your dark place and just begin to shake the foundations of hell. How do I do that? Open your mouth. Stop sitting there going through stuff and get with your mouth closed. You got to open your mouth and let loose sometimes. Because if you let loose, sometimes you can shake the foundation of the problem. And the foundation of the problem don't want to deal with the weight that you're sitting in or that you're carrying. So you open your mouth and start praising God. That thing going to have to jump off of you. Because if you open your mouth in the right place and at the right time, God said that praise is your weapon. And then not only that, he said no weapon that's formed. That means whatever's holding me, if I open my mouth and praise God, I can break the weapon because I got a weapon on the inside. So he said that they broke it and they start tearing up things. The good news is that God still works. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That blessed me when he said it to me. He said, son, I need you to understand I still work the night shift. I don't go to sleep. 
I don't sit there and just and tell him, well, I'm off. You got to go within the hours of 9 o'clock. Right, 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 right. No, God still works the night shift. So because he still works the night shift, there's times that midnight shows up. Mm -hmm. And I got to get to God. Uh -huh. But watch. The only difference between midnight mm -hmm. and morning is 60 seconds. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Yeah. Wow. In 60 seconds, your pain can go Sorry, to prayer. Come right. on, y'all want to talk yeah. to me. Yeah. In, in, right. in 60 seconds, I, I, you know what? I want you to slap grace five with somebody and tell them, look, I just got 60 more seconds. Because in 60 more seconds, things is about to break open for me. And see, y'all don't, don't want to move or y'all don't want to do that. But in 60 more seconds, my life is getting ready to change. In 60 more seconds, my temporary inconvenience is getting ready to be released and getting ready to be broken. Because I understand that it's only 60 seconds standing between me and my promise. Come on. All right, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Says, I'm getting ready to switch you from a dark place. Thank you. Because in 60 seconds, your pain is getting ready to transition into your praise. Yes. In 60 seconds, you're going to go from sick to being well. In 60 Thank seconds, you're going to go from being in the dark and into the light. Yes. All right. In 60 seconds, you're going to go from lost to being, I'm trying to yes. prophesy to somebody, yes. Yes. from yes. lost yes. to being found. And yes. In 60 yes. seconds, you're going to go from weeping to rejoicing. Uh -huh. In 60 yes. seconds, you're going to go from being broke and busted yes. to being rich and in favor. Uh -huh. In 60 seconds, God is going to release you into divine overflow. Yes. I don't take, uh, it, it don't take God a long time to bless me. It just takes him 60 seconds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody, somebody need to shout. I just got 60 more seconds. I just got 60 more seconds. Tell them it'll be over in a minute. Over in a minute. What I'm going through is getting ready to be over in one minute. And what I'm dealing with is getting ready to be released in one minute. What I'm holding on to is getting ready to break off of me in one minute. You can sit there and look at me like you're crazy. I got 60 more seconds to deal with this. I got 60 more seconds to go through what it is I'm going through because I believe that in 60 seconds, God is getting ready to release me into a divine overflow. It's working for me. Somebody needs to hear today that God is working for you. I don't care what anybody says, God is working for you. Tell your neighbor, it's good for me. It's good for me. It's good for me. It's good for me. Everything that I'm going through, it's good that I'm afflicted. Everything I'm dealing with, it's good that I'm going through. Everything, every person that I need to get rid of, it's good that they're here. Because in 60 seconds, God is getting ready to release. I walk into being broke yeah, yeah, yeah. and to walk into divine overflow. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got 60 more seconds that I'm getting ready to walk into just having a par marriage come on, come on. to having a blessed marriage. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah, nobody yeah. that want to talk yeah, to yeah. me. Yeah. I got 60 more seconds to where I'm going to hold on to this one job, but I see now uh, from afar something yeah, different is on, yeah, my, on yeah. the way. I got 60 more seconds that I'm living in one house, yeah. but I see the house that God designed for me yeah. in 60 more seconds. God is getting ready to release me into greater Somebody needs to tell the devil, yes. yeah. I ain't a featherweight no more. Uh, I'm, I'm not a lightweight. You can throw what you want to throw at me. I ain't a featherweight. I'm a heavyweight now. Because watch, in a fight, what happens is, is they have a timer. And then once the timer goes off, that means the fight is over and somebody hits the bell. But there has to be something that has to be going on and has to be turning for them to hit the bell. And, and, and at a certain point, you got 60 seconds before the match is over. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God says, I'm getting ready to release you from 
Come on, sir. This trouble. 